In this tutorial, we will be getting familiar with the pipe tool in CAD. First, click File at the top left corner, then click New and find Pipe slash Tube Part. Notice how the display panel is very different from the ones we've seen with 2D drawings we've done in past tutorials. With this one, we can change the orientation of the pipe to view it from different angles. On the left, you will see the pipe's condition when it is unrolled, and on the right, you will see it when it's rolled. The left side is very useful for when we are drawing cutouts in the pipe, which we will be doing later in the tutorial. Now click the pipe profile definition icon, which allows us to change the parameters of the pipe. In the parameters panel, you can change the pipe type to round, rectangular, or square. I will be showing what the rectangular type would look like, but for this tutorial, we will change it back to round. We will keep the reference length at 10 inches and change the pipe size to 3.5, which will make the outer diameter 4 inches. And then for the schedule, we will scroll down to find Schedule 40, which will change the wall thickness to 0.226 inches. If you want to rotate your pipe to see it at different angles, press the middle or scroll button on your mouse while in the 3D panel and drag. It may be helpful to keep in mind that the left side of the flattened view corresponds to the front end of the rolled pipe. Now click on the Pipe Joint Shape tool in the top toolbar. In the column to the left of the parameters panel, you will see six different options for the types of joints. For this tutorial, however, we will be using the branch joint. Once you have selected the branch joint, change the tilt angle to 90 degrees if it isn't already, and make the cut side the left side. In the header properties, set the pipe size to 3.5, making the actual outer diameter 4 inches. In the preview parameters, you can play with the disassemble feature to see what the pipes look like separated. Click the green check mark to confirm your changes. Now we are going to revisit the pipe joint shape tool to make another joint. With the branch joint selected, make the tilt angle 45 degrees and the cut side the right side. When adjusting the tilt angle, you will see a protractor appear in the 3D view. This is a very helpful tool when you are manipulating the orientation of your pipe joint. Leave the remaining parameters as they were and click the green check mark. Now we are going to start drawing cutouts on the left display panel using the rectangle shape tool. If you adjust the orientation of the right display panel, you will see that the changes that these cutouts have made are immediate. Now click on another shape tool of your liking and draw a new cutout. Finally, we are going to utilize the text tool and write something on our pipe. You will notice that the E in text is missing its inner hole, so we will have to use the bridge tool to fix that. First, we will have to click the explode icon and select all of our text. And then right click to confirm the selection. This feature will make the text more easily editable. Now we will select the bridge tool and draw a connection between the pipe and the inner part of the E. Click the green check mark to confirm these changes, and once you change the orientation, you can better see that this problem is now fixed. Be sure to check out the pipe tool in CAM tutorial to finish this project and learn more about the pipe tool. 